A perfect storm of supermarket price wars and a global oversupply has led to the collapse of the price of milk in Australia. Independent Senator Nick Xenophon has called for immediate action. Sky News Adelaide reporter Patrick Murrell has the details. With many farmers already leaving the industry, Nick Xenophon has proposed four ideas to save Australian dairies. Restoring a levy on Australian milk, an independent inquiry into the dairy industry, changing competition laws and using foreign aid funds to buy milk powder. This is a classic case of market failure. The free market hasn't worked here, deregulation hasn't worked and that's why we need this emergency package because if we don't, we will lose our dairy industry in this country. There's around 6,000 dairy farmers across Australia and many of them may have to leave the industry thanks to the new milk prices. We can't do that. We've done it for so long, you know, three years ago. We're all spent. Yeah, I milked cows for 20 years. I wanted to invest and grow my business, but I saw this commodity price crash coming a while ago and I've decided to ex exit the industry and invest my money in other parts of agriculture. Bonterra has defended its decision to slash prices, saying that with the global oversupply, a crash was inevitable. Managing Director of Bonterra, Judith Swales, told Sky News the industry needs regular and transparent milk price guidance to farmers and a closer link between on-farm production and the realities of the market. A helping hand has been extended to dairy farmers by ANZ. It suspended loan repayments for three months and waived any fees associated with restructuring loans. The Prime Minister says the government, now in caretaker mode, is in talks with the opposition about making more assistance available to dairy farmers. Patrick Murrell, Sky News.